And now for something completely different. In case you'd ever wondered where all roads lead, this is it. The end of the line. The empire under which the sun never sets, as you can see. It's three in the morning. Three in the morning and the sun's still in the sky. One straight line from Wall Street to Rome. Probably shouldn't film here. If the feed goes dead and no one sees me again, it's because fascists shot me dead outside the Ministry of Defense. Dio fascista. I'm gonna keep filming, keeping my eye out for snipers on the roof. Do not want to get sniped. Look at the eagle. It's everywhere. You can have all the stone monuments you want, all the ancient buildings, all the ancient history, all the doodads and the flim flam, all the grandiose stone carved frippery and flim flam with the true lifeblood of a culture is in its graffiti. For example, and this fine, fine depiction and representation of life in this area. Isn't it gorgeous? A great wealth of graffiti in a city. So among the dilapidated ruins of civilization, there is actually some culture and it's written on the walls. Circle beats you, Manchester, I'm afraid. The primordial one. They will tell you that the hologram started here. That's uh, Rome's folly for you. And the source of all of folly. Yes. That's what I say to you. We've just walked past an American couple sat outside the Colosseum. A lady was asking her partner why they were sat watching Breaking Bad. A hilarious irony. Flying for tens of hours halfway across the world to sit outside the center, the center of mass entertainment, the literal embodied icon of mass entertainment. To so just watch Breaking Bad. If you're gonna go somewhere and spend loads of money to get there, actually try and experience it and stop putting your stupid face in front of the only thing within the camera that's worth looking at. You're gonna have to take my word for it, YouTube, or wherever you're watching this. Digital fake land, it doesn't exist. But I just, I'm in Rome, here, proof, proof, Rome. Um, I just saw a bus, saw a bus, not that unusual, there's a bus, for instance. This bus was a virtual reality tour bus. I don't know what that means, I have no idea what that means, whatsoever. If any of you do know, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, I don't, but reality is here. I refute it thus. It is, it is here. I don't know why you'd want a virtual reality tour guide. You can be your own tour guide if you wish. You just have to follow your fee, I'm sure you've got two of them. Uh, and I'm flabbergasted. I'm, fl I'm gonna put my face in the camera. I'm flabbergasted, I'm outraged and flabbergasted. <laughs> Maybe if you think oh, I've missed the trick, um, please do tell me. I do hate to miss a trick. Captain's log, star date zero zero, day one. Yeah, see, proof Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, look at this. Just like, it's just in the streets. Ancient shit. Ancient street, ancient shit. Symbols and semiotics. 
the foundational, the foundational subject for all of culture, civilization, to use a dirty word. The health of a culture can be measured by the symbols it venerate, venerates and the reasons that it venerates them. Our culture chooses to venerate vain, plastic, empty, silicon pseudo facsimile symbols that stand in to represent our abject alienation from our world. Alienation which leads to things like this up ahead. A little shanty town of people who are disenfranchised. People who have no place in this world. Colonialism has denied them a home. So they set up shop down the road from the Ministry of Defence. I wonder what sort of uprising they're planning. Excuse me, it wasn't appropriate. I wouldn't film inside your house. I'm not going to film their house. May the revolution come swiftly. No, nay, not revolution. Resolution. A revolution is a 360 degree rotation. You always end up where you started. Sehr oft natürlich ist es verbunden mit, mit Risiken und die würde ich also nie scheuen und ich sehe eben, es sind so wenige Leute heute auf der Welt, die sich wirklich etwas trauen würden für die Not, die wir haben, äh, nämlich zu wenig adäquate Bilder zu haben. Wir brauchen ganz unbedingt Bilder die äh, mit unserem Zivilisationsstand und mit unserem Inneren aller Tiefsten übereinstimmen. Und da muss man eben dann notfalls auch mitten in den Krieg hineingehen oder wo auch immer es notwendig sein sollte. Peace and the quiet of the white cube. Praise be the, the ideology of the white cube. Art, darling. Sacred nonsense. Beautiful sacred nonsense. Look at it. What could it possibly mean? What is a sophisticated lady like myself to do when there's no lunch to be had? Closed for refurbishments. Not good enough. We came here instead for some peace and quiet. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, let's. This is what you want, isn't it? You want to see faces, people. You don't want to see random, beautiful bushes without context. <laughs> How preposterous! Why would anyone want to go and see random stuff without context? Nothing means anything anymore. I don't even mean anything. I've come here to destroy meaning. Ooh, lovely. Don't forget to bring a towel! So this is what happens, kids. Go to, a, go to a sacred place, go to a beautiful place, you make a wish. And then they, and they, they, they take it all out, yeah, ruin it. I, I was under the impression that you leave it in the fountain. Your wish and the atoms contained within dissolve, thereby becoming part of the city and a part of this, part of this beautiful thing. But no, no, the, the, the Dio Fascista just come along and uh, remove all your well wishes. And then, uh, yeah, it's tourism, kids. This will kill that, says the hunchback. But they're still here. Architecture was the original text. The lay and learned alike would come, and the story of the culture. 
culture would be written on the walls for everyone to see plain and clear. I'm a, more a fan of. It's one hell of a story though, isn't it? Oh, you might not be a fan of the narrative, but it's one hell of a story. And in a culture that had lost its connection to psychedelics, which Rome certainly did, a Bacchanalia made sure of that. I must admit, I am tripping balls in here. I don't feel close to my god, but I feel close to something. The Babel is small, yellow, leech-like, and probably oddest thing in the universe. It feeds on brain one day. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous piece of sculpture. A matrix formed from the conscious frequency of the nerve signals. This is some pagan shit right here. This is what an angel looks like. Well, if they're in their fair form, instead of their true form. If you stick around at Project Confusion, I promise you that with my writing system, you'll be able to comprehend the angels in their true form. But, they're still pretty cool, pretty fucking gnarly in their fair, in their fair form. Oi mate, oi mate, you want it on face? I reject your reality, I substitute my own. I don't know who painted these, but I kind of prefer, I kind of prefer them to the, the realism that seems to define the artists of this city. Realism is for losers. Oh look. A naked child. See, and they they leave it all open. It's only they're only hiding if you can't read their writing. But that's you. Look, naked children. You dirty priests. You dirty, dirty, dirty priests. You look at that. I see you. Look high. Look low. High low. Hello. It's harder than it looks though. Um dickheads like me presume they can just wave a camera or something and talk witticisms and that'll be enough. Well, I actually have loads of interesting things to say, but I can't for the life of me remember what any of them are. Europe. Let's talk about Europe. I have some thoughts. I know Europe is the centre of colonization and uh, we've got a lot of sins to reckon with. And it is obscene, the way they fetishise their history. It really is. We should tear the Colosseum down. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Colosseum, no, that's England. <laughs> but the good parts about Europe, we don't seem to embody any of them. Freedom? What? No. Culture? No. Bits. All the culture we have to offer comes from the people from whom we stole their land from and they now live in England and they now make the culture. While the Brits, the born and bred British, um, like the sucky by they are, feast off of their labours. Pretend to be Centre for Culture, Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling, it's the greatest piece of British culture we've got, lol. <laughs> We're bankrupt, culturally, spiritually, chemically, epistemologically, metaphysically, etc, etc. Yeah, I have nothing to say, it's more eloquent. And that gorgeous chirping, that gorgeous chirping. And so I shall close this vlog with that, I think. 
I'm going to put all this footage together in post and make it look coherent. But I didn't take any footage on day one and two, so if I if it says that, it's a lie. I lied. All my footage was recorded on the last day because I didn't bring a phone charger or my phone died. Which I preferred, actually. The ability to just follow my feet, follow my nose, follow the, follow the wee-wee way. Yes, and on that, I think I shall sign out. Peace be upon you. Like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to donate to the Patreon. Much obliged. Ciao. It's not science that keeps the plane in the air, it's faith. Oh, look. It's a lizard Beth. Free the nipple. <gasps> oh dear, says God, I hadn't thought of that. And promptly vanishes in a puff of logic. Oh, that was easy, says man. And for an encore, he goes on to prove that black is white and gets killed on the next zebra crossing. Most leading theologians claim that this argument is a load of dingo's kidneys. But this didn't stop Ulan Kalufin making a small fortune when he used it as the central theme for his best-selling book, Well, That About Wraps It Up For God.